support you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You have prayed for people that Thank you, later on they are turning their backs against oh, you. That's true. That's true. Thank you, Lord. Thank and, you. Um, um, you have imparted wrong people. Thank you, Lord. Because later they became your enemy. That's true. That's true. And today I'm praying that God must give you people that will come and support Amen. you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you want to be Lord. prayerful like this. Thank you, Lord. And this church be stagnant like this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you know, you want to be a prayerful man and everything has been stagnant for this long. Why? Today, I'm standing with you in prayer. Amen. Thank you, sir. That Thank you. Thank number you. one. What God must do in your church is to bring people that will come and support you. Amen. Amen. You know, people that will understand your calling. Yes. 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 You Lord. have been faithful before God, but yes, things are not working out. That's true. That's true. So I'm praying that today, Hallelujah. May God lift you up. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. I'm seeing where you're staying. Thank you, Lord. I'm not <laughs> happy with the place. Yes. It's not nice. Oh, you hear me? Yes. I'm seeing where you're staying now. Thank it's not. For, I'm not able to this place. Thank you, Lord. At all. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord. And I'm seeing you moving from this to a better place. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This man can pray. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Father. Let me touch you. Oh, hallelujah. is one of my worries. Faithful to him. Oh, you know what I mean? Yes. Are you faithful to him? Yes. Yes, we are. Huh? Yes. Because people now they came to draw something from him and left him. That's very true. It's something that we we're talking about it as we we're coming. So we have been encouraging one another, and for each and every word that has proceeded out of your mouth, it's just a confirmation of what is taking place right now. Mm. So I just want to thank God for this because I know God reveals. If, if you do that, if you stick by this man, God will lift you up. Amen. Oh, you hear me? Amen. God will lift you up. Amen. Uh, one day I told people, I said, calling doesn't go by age. You know, you are never too early to be in the ministry. And you are never too late. I'm telling you. When it comes to the spiritual things, you're not early, you're not late. Only the time of God, only the time of God is always right. Amen. Oh, you hear me? Others will be in ministries when they are still young. God has spoken. Others will be in ministries when they are old. That does not mean you will fail to achieve what the, the ones who started early have achieved. That's, that's not how God works. Oh, you hear me? It does not matter the age. The problem of our, our young people, they think ministry is money, fleshy cars, enjoyment, fame, all those kind of things. That's not ministry. Are you hearing me? When you read the word of God, it says you must become a living sacrifice. You sacrifice your own flesh for the sake of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Are you hearing me? It's not nice at all. Pain must come. 
Worry must come. And you tell yourself that I will never worry. Problems must come when you tell yourself that I'm not part of these problems. In fact, to be a Christian, it means you must always be positive. All the time. So please, this man has suffered. Because I'm seeing a church now, it, like, it's like it was expanding, now it went down. So now I'm praying that you must stand with him. Through thick and thin. And later, you will have what is heavy. Praise the Lord. Where is your child? Where is your child? My child? Mm. Uh, which one? Where is your child? Oh, one is in Cape Town and uh, two... A son. Pickle. Oh, he's home. He's home. Huh? My son, yes, he's I'm home. I'm seeing a son. Yes, he's home. Home where? Uh, he's in Pretoria. Mm. Must pray for him. Yes. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes. Must pray for him. Yes, I'm doing that, sir. You know why I'm saying must pray for him? Uh, I believe because right now he's going to be the president in his in his school. There's an attack. The boy, the boy is, a, is a leader. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Pray for him. Yes. So now I believe he will lead even when he has grown. Amen. Amen. Your friend, Mama. The boy is a leader. Receive your blessing. The boy is a leader. God said, I must tell you again. I, I receive know. it. I, I receive it. Well, it's a confirmation, uh, <laughs> prophet of God. Mm. It's a confirmation. Come, sir. Confirmation from where? Confirmation from uh, what the Lord showed me. Before he was uh, appointed last year, mm. yes, I was given two jackets. One that was black, what he's wearing now. And the other one is white. What is going to weigh next year? I'm seeing this, your son as a leader. That's what I'm seeing. Come. Yes, he is. Thank you, Jesus. But you, you struggled with your life before. Ah, uh, yes, that's very true. Of you living don't... right. Yes, ah, uh, that's very true. So now, live right. Now, God will lift you up. Amen. You struggled with your life of living right. That's very true. That's the reason why there's these children. Mm. God bless you. Praise the Lord. <laughs>